And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. There's a giant asteroid flying towards Earth. Detected by a Russian robotic telescope, it's one of the largest and most dangerous space rocks approaching our planet's orbit. Artis Murad Gaziev looks at the threat from the void. Humanity's last experience with a large asteroid was painful. Almost two years ago, the Chelyabinsk meteor traveling at 19 kilometers a second exploded in the skies above Russia. The blast was dozens of times more powerful than an atomic bomb. But that meteor was only 20 or so meters in diameter, weighing about as much as the Eiffel Tower. This new asteroid is an entirely different story. It's 20 times bigger, the size of a village weighing millions of times more. If this asteroid, for now called 2014 uh, UR116, flew into our atmosphere, it wouldn't just burn up in the air and shatter windows. This would hit the planet's surface, potentially killing millions. But calm for now, it's not yet on a collision course with Earth. The danger is, as it passes near planets in the sun, gravity could alter its path. In fact, the Russian space agency, which detected UR116, has satellites watching just for such objects. And it's not only Russia. An American observatory a decade ago detected another similar asteroid. There was a big scare about that, if you remember. Apophis was named after the Egyptian god of evil, and asteroids its size hit Earth on average once in 80,000 years. NASA gave it a very real chance of impacting our planet, though that was later revised down. But the danger from asteroids is very real, and astronomers are increasingly keeping an eye out and thinking about what to do if they confirm a collision course, though don't expect anything quite as dramatic as Bruce Willis leading his team of misfits to save the world.